guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maureen Yang of Ian No. Ugh, I know it's been such a long time since I've last recorded a video. I last recorded a video in July. I know it's been a while, but I'm here and I'm back with you guys. And today we're doing something new on my channel. We're doing a wig review and like how I lay down my lace from wigs. So, one disclaimer before I begin. I am not that good at doing wigs. Like I am not that good. I can barely lay down my baby hairs. The most I could do is like use the got to be or the wig glue to glue my wigs down, but I am not that good. I am not a pro. This is just something new on my channel and hopefully if I keep doing this, I'll become better. And yeah, so that's what we're doing. I'm super excited. I miss you guys so much. That's why I look like with my little bonnet on you know i always have the black bonnet period but that's enough of me rambling let's just get on to the video because i'm so excited and i miss you guys so much so let's start anyways before we get into the video we need to talk about or before we get into how i laid my wigs down we need to get into that what kind of wig it is so this wig is from Premier lace wigs and I watched another YouTuber, um, I forgot her name, do a review on this hair. Um, so the box is like in this little pink box. It says Premier Lace Wigs. It has a little message on the back. So you open it up. And I already took the wig out the box. So I already wore this wig like three or four times and I slept in it twice. So that's how I like to do my wig reviews. Like you don't know a review on the hair if you haven't really you just gonna throw it on and then like say it's a review like you need to get to know the hair a little bit so i wore it a couple times already you can go to my instagram page which is more ying and i have a second instagram page called more ying too you can just the wig is on both profiles okay so it comes into this little pink bag it's so cute it's like satin silk it's so cute and then this is like the plastic bag and the hairnet that comes in it. If I can get that off. So first it comes with a wig cap. You know they always come with a wig. Is it focused? I don't know. It always comes with a wig cap. I have my wig cap on already underneath this. So this is the 360 lace front, 24 inches, Indian, no, 22 inches. Indian Remy hair, natural black, wet and wavy. It comes with this low card. We go see so focus on me focus on me anyway comes with that card and then what else comes with it this is another little card it comes with it comes with this little book on how like you take care of your hair and other people wearing different types of styles that you may want to buy in the future and this is what the hair looks like just it looks a mess because it just been sitting in my room so this is what the hair looks like it's 22 inches but i swear to god it's at least like 24 it's longer maybe because i'm 5'3 by the way i know some people like to know the height of people when they wear certain hair i'm 5'3 so it's 22 inches it's wet and wavy it's kind of raggedy right now because like i said i already wore it it comes with like i think 13 by six inches of space in the front y'all see that and it has two combs in the front one comb in the middle and one comb in the back and the thing i like about this hair though and then it has the two little strings the little drawstrings in the back so the thing about i like that i like about this wig and i thought i wasn't gonna like it so i never bought my wigs like this is that it comes with a um adjustable strap so I never had hair with adjustable strap, but baby, making the switch to buy an adjustable strap, you see the strap right here, was like the best decision I ever made because it's literally, literally this wig, you don't have to glue it down on your whole forehead. Like all I glue down is the air tabs and then use the got to be glue or whatever glue you like to use to do your baby hairs and it lays like you don't have to and then you wrap it up you know blow dry it a little bit or let it air dry whatever you like to do 
and it lays down like you don't have to put glue from here all the way to here like you don't need to do that like it's not that serious like it literally stays on my head um if y'all hear crying in the background it's just my baby cousin he's like really not feeling us today but that's the reviews over the wigs over the wig i hope i wasn't talking too fast and then i did pluck the hair a little bit but you don't have to like i plucked the roots and i already cut off the lace as you guys can tell and i took some um brown face powder and i put it inside the wig that's what i've done so far but i'm gonna show you guys how i lay it down and what's my routine and what i do to make my slay my wigs barely it's a barely a slay because it still looks really bad but yeah that's just that sweetie period so now i'm gonna move camera angle so you guys can see me up close and i'll be right back oh child oh i'm i'm bald <laughs> okay let me push back i'm a little bit too all up in y'all face if you see me look over here it's just because the mirror is right behind me and you guys are looking at me so some materials you might need i use rubbing alcohol to clean my forehead make sure there's no makeup or oil or dirt i'm gonna need a spray bottle with some water or with some water and detangler whatever you want to use got to be glue gel or um the free spray spray or whatever glue you like to use and then i use the locking coconut curls by ogx i don't know let's see it's kind of too bright but by ogx is in a bottle like this come on focus on me i'm sorry i'm getting used to this stuff i don't ugh, guys bear with me um a comb well i call it a rat tail comb i don't know what other people call it um and one of these things like the, for the baby hairs hi guys it's future me so the first thing i did was or voice over me i took the rubbing alcohol and i cleaned my forehead just to make sure there was no makeup or dirt i have really oily skin and sometimes that's hard to keep the hair down when you do that so right here you can see i'm trying to put the wig on and child like i could not put it on like i really had to like cut the camera look into my other mirror i could not put the wig on look look how crooked it is on my head with the camera and the mirror in front of me somebody please get me like i said bear with me guys i am not a wig expert i clearly don't know what i'm doing just i only know like half of what i'm doing so please bear with me So the next thing I do is I pull the wig back a little bit and I use, like so you can see your forehead and hairline and I use the got to be glue gel and apply it only near like the ear. So I will play it, I will apply it near the baby hairs of my natural hair, near the sideburn, just like that whole area just to make sure like everything right there sticks down. And I apply that two times, you'll see. I, I apply two coats of got to be glue gel and I blow dry and you'll see that in the video but make sure you're getting that whole ear area all right so the next thing I do is I take my blow dryer and first I start off on the cool setting I really Oh, look at me. I pin my hair back first just to make sure my hair is not in the way and it doesn't start start falling in the gel that's not dry yet because that gets really annoying. You want to make sure everything is outside of outside your face and you can see. And I put my hair on the cool setting, which I'm about to do right now, and I alternate between cool and hot. When it's on cool, first it feels like something is really drying, but then I go to the low heat setting and then I blow dry both sides equally at an equal time maybe like five minutes on each side just make sure you don't burn yourself because I do that all the time all right so I didn't notice that my camera just wasn't on and I did this off camera so the next thing I do is use like a satin or silk scarf to tie my um 
ears down like the air tabs down and I do that first and before I do my baby hairs just to make sure my wig is not going to move while I'm trying to do my baby hairs and sometimes it gets too much gel all over the place it gets sticky it gets nasty so I like to do my baby hairs and my edges at two different times and I do my edges first I mean not my edges my air tabs first and make sure that those dry not all the way through like halfway through or a good amount before I start doing my baby hairs. So now I'm just going to take off my scarf, which I was having a really hard time doing because the glue was just so strong. It was like pulling out my real hair. Like I really couldn't get it off. It was, you can see how it was stuck to my forehead. Um, so I'm slowly trying to move it and look, it does not look good at all. You saw all that white stuff that just came off? Disgusting. You can see it in my face that I'm not okay. But right now I'm just trying to take the excess glue off, try to make my sideburns more apparent, try to put the hair in the right place, make sure my sideburns aren't too thick, make sure the hair that's glu um, glued down is not too thick, and make it even and look more natural. Okay, so right now I'm using the little edge brush. And I'm using the rat tail comb to do my baby hairs. And like I said before, I'm really bad at baby hairs. I don't know what I'm doing. It always comes out only one. I do like four baby hairs on my forehead and only one of them actually look good. Which is the one that's like closest to my, um, the part on the right side that's the only one that looks good so right now i'm just trying to pull out some little hairs and then use got to be glue gel to put on the root of the baby hair and then i use a little shaver and like shave it down before i didn't shave it down because i wanted to shave it down in the video when i was wearing it before so now i'm just showing you guys like i'm just gonna make it a little shorter it does not have to be that long Look at me. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to go down. Like, when I tell you, my hair, my wigs would be so beautiful if I knew how to do baby hairs. Look at me. I look, just look at it. It does not look good. Like, it looks okay, but, like, it does not look good at all. And I should just be ashamed of myself. I can always do baby hairs on my natural hair or, like, maybe straight hair. I just can't do it on this curly I I just no it's no for me sweetheart you can literally see the frustration in my face like I'm just like this is the best it's gonna get for me because I just I mean after a while the baby hair starts forming to my face and it doesn't look so bad but while I was doing it it looked terrible um so yeah I just took out the clips in my hair and I'm gonna wrap my baby hairs down using a different scarf I felt like the other one had like too much residue glue residue on it so I was like no we're just gonna use a new one a fresh clean one to lay my baby hairs down okay so after it's I got the scarf laid down I'm gonna take the blow dryer again on cool and then alternate from cool to low heat to make my baby hairs dry faster and then I also sat in front of the AC because I was really hot for some reason I started sweating you guys make me nervous because I like you guys so much you guys make me nervous so that's what I did next so now my hair was like finally a little bit dry and I decided to do a length check so you guys can see how far it comes down to me it reaches like right underneath my boobs like right underneath it and then now I split my hair into two and I use water on both sides to, and spray make sure the hair is like damp or a little bit wet because sometimes I do too much but I spray both sides evenly and finger detangle the hair So 
So now I'm using the OGX Coconut Curl Locking um, Mousse. Shaking it up, making it ready, and I usually put it on... I always miss the back of my head, but this time I was pretty sure, pretty accurate to make sure I get it on the front, the back, and especially the ends, because the ends get really dry and brittle fast. So make sure you pay attention to the ends on this hair. That's something that I noticed. And make sure you pay attention to the back. Hey guys, <laughs> so some things about this hair, like look, this is, this hair is very gorgeous, very beautiful, um, as y'all can see, clearly I don't know how to do baby hairs, and sometimes when I sweat a little bit, I don't know, there was just like so much going on, sometimes when I sweat a little bit, um, the glue don't be sticking down you know god simply don't don't stick down if you're like sweating and you're hot it'd be acting stupid it'd be acting crazy we know that but i was able to get the wig on hopefully you guys can see i don't i, I can't see it in the viewfinder so you probably can't even see it either it stays like this all day i love the way it looks and that's all i have to say like it's just it's just gorgeous it's just gorgeous guys and i love it and I'll put the links to where I got this hair down below. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if there's anything, any other hair that you guys want me to review, I'm down for that now. Because I am, now I do hair tutorials. I've been wanting to do this on my channel for a while. Um, so make sure you turn on the bell to get post notifications when I post. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. My social medias are down below. Um, or so I'll put them somewhere on the screen. I don't know. Because my camera's about to die and I'm talking really fast. So, yes. I love you guys so much. Be safe. Be kind. I just love you. Mwah.